This is Oshobo, the Oshun state capital, southwest Nigeria, West Africa, created in 1991 from Oyo state. It is bounded by Kwara state on the northeast, Ekiti and Ondo states on the east, Ogun state on the south, and Oyo state on the west and northeast. The state has a tropical rainforest covering, and the Oshun River is the most important river. And we are going to find out why later in this video. The state covers a land area of 3,572 square meters, ranking 28 of 36 states of the Federation, and has a total population of over 3 million people, according to the 2006 National Population Census. Famous people from the state are Pastor E. A. Adeboye, the General Overseer, Redeemed Christian Church of God, Retired General Ekbola Alani Akirinde, former Chief of Army Staff and the first Chief of Defense Staff of the Federation. Davido, the famous singer, Patricia Ete, first female Speaker of the Federal House of Representatives. Daddy Freeze, the famous radio presenter and media personality. To mention but a few. Today, we are going to explore the Oshun Oshobo Grove, a place of worship in the forest where devotees of the Oshun God say prayers and offer sacrifices. Worshippers throng to the grove annually for the Oshun Oshobo Festival held around August. The grove is located on the outskirts of Oshobo, the Oshun state capital, southwest Nigeria. Beyond being a place of worship to some people, it is a tourist destination to others because the grove is listed as one of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites and is managed by the National Museums and Monuments Commission of Nigeria. Alright guys, so we are on our way now, going down into the grove where the worship, you know, of the Oshun God or Goddess happens. So yeah, here is our tour guide. Let's go, ma. We are going down there. You are welcome. And her name is also Grace, ma. Grace, are your daily for Yeah. A tourist guide. My namesake. So let's go. It's going to be interesting. There was a woman that came to Nigeria in the early 50s. Okay. Her name is Susan Wenya. But the name given to her in Oshogbo, in Wifunke Adoni Olosha. According to the history, she came with a pest. This depicts the pest that she came with. That's the dog that she came with. These are statues. She was 94 years old. She died there and she was very cheap, but not disclosed for the visitors. The people that she works with by name, Baba Olai Wala Oloshu, Baba Afeni Shekere, the last person there, and your shoulder, is a drama. Susan divorced the white man that she came with and married to a Yoruba man. In order to know the real culture of this Oshogbo. Okay, ma. Um, I have a question. All right. She was a white woman, Susan yes. Wenja, but why mm. was she allowed to work here as a priest? Because she's interested in culture, and she's 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 also an artist. So okay. she loves staying here since she knows that the goddess is, the goddess that lives there is royal. Okay. And she's an artist. Most of the sculptures that uh, sculptures that you see, she made. Made them. She made them. Okay, so she was working here as an artist, not yes. as a, a priestess. No. Okay. Susan Wenger, until her passing in 2009, was an Austrian artist who moved to Nigeria in 1950 and settled in Oshobo, Oshun State. According to the records, she was inspired by Yoruba mythology to express her true spiritual and artistic depths. As a result, she became a leading advocate for the protection of the sacred grove and along with other local artists, built several shrines and sculptures around the forest. As a result of her devotion and works, she was named Iya Aduni Olorisha in Yoruba language. My Yoruba people, please interpret that, translate it to English for us. So this is another tallest elegant structure. I thank you so many children call Oshun Olomoyoyo. God of fertility. That's where the barons come to ask for their babies. So they will now make a vow. If you're a Christian, you know, you make a vow in church, you make a vow in mosque. The tra uh, traditionalists, they make a vow also. So they call it Oshun Olomoyoyo, God of fertility. It's an errand to Olodumori. 
So it doesn't harm I mean, it depends on what you have in your mind that the devil will work with. It's not real it's not Satan. It's not Satan. They call it issue. We have some uh, some family that bear a shuleke. So they worship him. And people go there to make sacrifices. I yes, they make a sacrifice. You can see that. That's where they worship him. They consult him. Guys, so we are going in now to where the worship goes on. You can see we have some of the devotees at the entrance here. And this is the way in. Yes. This is another spot we call it Diegbe. For somebody that is having a spiritual husband, in the, uh, the spiritual realm, this is where they normally separate them. Is it done by the women outside or? It's done by the Oshun devotee. Those women outside? Yes. God of Iron, Ogun, to show that the goddess there, she's a giver of children. I think you can see the statue carrying the baby. So this is the first palace in Oshobo. For any rainy king must sit, there's a throne of authority inside. For any yeah, rainy yeah. king, we sit on the throne and say his prayer. So this is, this is where Oshobo started from. Why the river God there said that human beings and spirit cannot live very close, that they should vacate here and move out of the shrine. That is why they use this place as or shoes frying. So this is where the voice came out. I said, I said that, that, that they had the head, Osho Igbo, Laro Ye, Ogidon, Simehi. That is the wizard of the forest. This is where Oshobo, Oshobo name comes out. So you can't just come here that you need water, they will send you back. They call it Tagbo. And they have a song they, 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 they normally sing. Sele Ru Agbo, Agbara Agbo. Ah, I know that song. <laughs> so that's where the voice came out. And the, the spirit said that human beings and spirits cannot live very close, that they should vacate here and move to the upper, okay. upper, upper side. Okay. So, so ma, uh, why is the water important? Why do people come here to um, get the water? Because it's a healing water. For any barrens that drinks the water and have faith in it, she will be fruitful. And so people can drink the water they, like this? They came all over the world to fetch, to say, to fetch the water. So the people bathe in the water? The bathing is not allowed here. This yeah, is where they, where, which side they beside the suspended bridge. Aside that sacrifice yeah. that the girl will bring and pour here, mm. like people that, like you said, the got the daughters of this daughter, mm -hmm. these children. Mm -hmm. So people that the goddess have given children before, do they come here and like sacrifice? And sacrifice, to yeah, is that thank God though. Yeah, thank God. Every year, oh, um, they may yeah, they may decide to bring it every year. They may decide to bring it maybe once in ten years. This is the spot we call the Boifa. That's where the Abalis initiate their members. If they want to enter, they will enter through their back. Their seats are inside, and they sit according to their hierarchy. So that's the vulture that is carrying the sacrifice to their creator. They call it Ibodu. That is a suspended bridge. The bridge was constructed in the year 1935 and commissioned in 1936 by the colonial masters for the farmers in the neighboring village to bring their goods down to this very village. So that's the only bridge that link the villagers and the people in Oshobo. They, they call it Gada Amititi. Gada Amititi. Yeah. Okay, ma, so um, is there something else that happens at the back there no, in terms of worship? No, the farm settlement. We all know that religion is a set of beliefs and practices that individuals or groups adopt in worship of a higher being and this by choice. So please respect people's choices. And note, this video is meant for educational and information purposes. 
and does not in any way express my personal beliefs or views. From the Oshun Oshogbo Grove. Now I'm here at the Nikkei Gallery in Oshogbo. So, for those of you who do not know, Nikkei Gallery, they have a mega, mega gallery in Lagos, which is like the biggest art gallery in West Africa. And here is the gallery in Oshogbo, Oshun State. And you can see up there, the picture there is the picture of the patron, Mama Nike. So, let's go inside and see what here looks like because the one in Lagos is really very beautiful. All right, let's go. Unfortunately, it's not open, right? And I was told they open every day from Monday to Sunday. But it's quite evening now, so probably they've closed for the day. But if you find yourself in Oshogbo, in Oshun State, this is Nikkei Art Gallery where you can come. If you're an art connoisseur and you want to buy art pieces and all of that, you can buy from here. You can get to see, I can see this um, white materials spread on the ground. This is actually like materials that they used to do the adire, what we call um, tie and dye in English. So probably it's part of the process. So that's it. And on that note, I'm going to end this vlog here. I hope you've enjoyed it. What do you think about the vlog? Drop a comment. I want to know right from the Oshun Oshogbo Grove all the way to this place. Drop a comment. I would like to know what you think. Would you like to come visit this place? Let me know. Drop a comment. If you've not subscribed, remember to click on the subscribe button, tap on the bell, like, share, do all those amazing things you guys always do. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.